here we are again another day another dollar today I'm fishing some pan fish I'm gonna put our tip up with a shiner on it where my shiners at shiners are all right they're all alive <clears throat> I am fishing there we go I'm fishing this lake I've never fished it during the winter time I did catch some big crappies out here in the summertime and I'm actually fishing a small a very very small hole that's off this lake that's about 18 or 19 feet deep I am not going to show you the other eight places I drilled to try to catch fish but I've been catching little perch um, finally I drilled you know half a dozen holes across this little basin here dropped down there were some marks there dropped down I caught a crappie and a bluegill so I'm gonna set out a tip up with a shiner on it for a bit you know <clears throat> try and get a walleye I know there's some big walleyes in this lake and this water looks fairly clear. I know this summer it was really dirty and I was catching my crappies, you know, in like 12 feet of water. But it looks relatively clear now. So anyway, I'm just going to grab my rod and start jigging. Just going to be uh, jigging a soft plastic. And uh, yeah, start fishing. Anyway, basin, basin, basin. I need to get out and try to shoot a video of me jumping in some weeds for some fish. But, you know, I, I really need some drivable ice to do it get around these lakes anyway all right everybody i just got my house set up here and i got a tip up, a tip up down outside with my big buddy and my markham my 36 inch tuned up custom rod fusion uh i'm gonna put a spoon on this i think and jig with a minnow head or something see if i can entice some of those big crappies to bite uh yeah shine her down on my tip up out here Yeah. Anyway, I am marking fish, so let's try and catch something. Let's see if there's any fishies. Oh yeah, there's some fish down here. No. Oh, yeah, that. Gosh, a couple of those could be crappies. Put the jigging wrap down. Like I said, I've got this jigging wrap on here now. No, uh, no bait or nothing. It's basically gonna be a hail mary play. bumped that thing kind of a beat up looking fish too go Ooh, nice color on that fish hey look the looks of that it's a good sign I'm gonna have to hole hop a little bit to catch him but if that's what I gotta do that's what I gotta do There's one. There's one. Just nice, easy hook set on that fish. Oh yeah, there's a nice crappie. Real nice one. I can just get him out of there. Oh gosh, my tip up just popped. Tip up just popped. Get this guy back in the water. Get my little toothpick in here. This toothpick is really nice, you guys. You can just get it in there. On any hook you want, pop that out. It's a beautiful fish. There you go, bud. Alright, let's go get you to step up. Not yet, anyway. Oh, is it starting to turn? Oh, yeah. It's turning now. Give this fish a little bit of line here, quick. Whatever it is, it could be like a. Oh, it's a big pike, you guys. This one's much bigger than the last one. It looks like. Oh yeah, that's a nice pike. Nice pike. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> Look how fat these things are. Gosh. 
Beautiful pike. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. Get out of here, bud. Oh, all right, another shiner on this thing, you know. Get that jig. All right, so what I've done is I switched to, this is a, actually a four millimeter hook with a larger shank on it. Um, and then I have what's known as a crack in here. This is bubblegum colored. These are made by Panfish Pirates. They're actually a really neat soft plastic bait. Pull one out here for you and just give you a, a look-see. See that? They actually have three legs. So what you can do is you can you can tear the legs off both sides and get that. Or you can tear a leg off and use the leg on a smaller profile jig. They're really nice. Uh, I borrowed these from my buddy Cody because he dropped them on a lake one day and I picked them up. But those are made by Alex over at Panfish Pirates. You can find those on his website. Uh, the jig is made by Clyde Morgan over at Three Northern Jigs. Well, let's just try these ones once, see if they'll cooperate. I like that larger profile hook for the crappie because when they engulf that, there's more surface area, obviously, for that hook to go into the fish's mouth. Oh, there's a fish coming right there. There's a fish. That's gonna be a crappie. A lot of surface area on that hook. I like it, come on. There's a, oh, that's a bear. Look at that, look at that fish, you guys. Boom. There's a tanker. All right, that's gotta be a 12 and a half incher probably. Can we get back down there? Well, there's some more fish down there too. We're gonna, they're just off the edge of the cone angle. Come on. Oh Lord. Please let this be a copy. So it looked like it was big. It is a crappie, it's a big one too. There's a tanker. That's what I was looking for. That's what I've been looking for. It's a big, huge crappie. And this fish didn't even hesitate eating that jig. That is a beauty. All right, bud. We're gonna let you go. Get out of here. Oh, nice. It's shaping up to be a good afternoon. There's, oh my gosh, you guys, that was a big crappie. He come barreling out of that school. I think he'll bite it again. He's right, he's right above me. Shall I try? Try again. He's coming back. This is the same fish. Oh my gosh, this is the same fish. Haha. <laughs> same fish. Yep, and it's a nice crappie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a big crappie. This, oh, these things are just fat. Fish are just fat as can be. The black mark on that fish's eye too. Alright. Boom. Oh. Try to get a neat little picture of them, but I said to heck with it. There's one. Just bumped it. Gosh. These rods are so nice. They're just light. I mean, they feel like feathers in your hand. And they. Oh, that's a nice crappie. If I can get them up the hole, it will be anyway. Oh, yeah. I just slapped them. There's a slapper. Slabber. Oh, there's a little. This is nice. 
Please be a crappie. <laughs> It'll look like a really nice mark, you guys. This, I don't know if this is a crappie or not. If it is, it's going to be a big one. Was that, was that a crappie? Gosh. It looked like one. Oh, it, oh my gosh, you guys. It's a giant. It's a giant. Look at this giant crappie, you guys. Oh, my lord. Look at this absolute giant, you guys. That's got to be 14 inches. Pushing 14. We'll go measure him quick. All right, we'll get him on the bump board here. Oh, he, uh, he is, well, 13 and, I mean, he's darn near 14. Look at how big that thing is, though. All right. We're gonna put this hogzilla back, go and try and get you some more. There we go. There's a big one. Very skittish. Eleven and a half inches. Oh, I got it. Whatever it is, it's got to be a crappie. Nothing else is gonna be. I mean, well, come on. What is it? Oh, it's a crappie. Little guy, probably 11 incher. Hey everybody! So that wasn't too bad of a video. Oh uh, man, I got a lot of nice crappies. Got some real nice pike. Got bass. Everything. I'm still, you know, I'm still here. I still have a couple tip ups out, or I still have a tip up out with a shiner on it, hoping for a walleye. And if you guys seen a walleye, then once again, I caught a walleye. But anyway. My gear, uh, you know, I'll just tell you all my gear. Pretty much, I got an Otter Pro Lodge fish house, body heater, you guys know that. My striker bag over there, um, Eskimo Rocket One Auger, 30 quart angle cooler. Stuff's nice, you know, costs money, but you know, after it's been taking like five years to buy all this stuff up. And then my rods that I was using today, I was using a just a fray bill tip up out there, but then. Here, this is a tuned up custom rod, a 36 inch fusion. And I was using this today because, you know, I was planning on catching maybe anything, and I really did. I mean, I caught a couple nice bass in this rod, caught a lot of crappies on this rod. Um, these are amazing rods. They're light as a feather. <clears throat> I am actually going to pick up some more here in the next week or so. But fishing 18 feet roughly. Fish are spread out through this, through up this small basin here, off this lake. Um, yeah, more basin fishing. Anyway, new lake. I've never, you guys have never seen me uh, fish this lake on a video before, so kind of neat, you know, finding different different lakes and running around, you know, not doing the same stuff all the time on the same lakes. Anyway, uh, please like, share, subscribe. All that good jazz. Go check out my Facebook and Instagram at 330 Maniac, and peace out.